We begin today with the developing story surrounding the San Diego County Sheriff's Department. On the same day, Sheriff Bill Gore is retiring after more than a decade in office. The results of an audit looking into inmate deaths at the county jails came out. The state auditor says the Sheriff's Department has failed to prevent and respond to inmate deaths. Between 2006 and 2020, 185 people died in county jails, one of the highest totals in the entire state. Well, now he's calling for the state legislature to get involved. Our Jason Slaw starts us off live from Kearney Mesa with a closer look at these findings and how the Sheriff's Department is now responding. Jason. Well, it's a blistering audit from the state revealing a high number of inmate deaths at the seven detention facilities overseen by the San Diego County Sheriff's Department, adding if changes aren't made, more inmates will likely die. An alarming assessment from the California State Auditor reveals an unusually high frequency of inmate deaths at county jails. According to the audit, from 2006 to 2020, 185 inmates died in San Diego County jails, among the highest totals in the state. Some of the inmates who died were only in custody for a few days. The state says the high death rate in county jails raises concerns about underlying systemic issues with the San Diego County Sheriff's Department's policies and practices. In a letter to Governor Newsom and state lawmakers, State Auditor Michael Tilden said our review identified deficiencies with how the Sheriff's Department provides care for and protects incarcerated individuals, which likely contributed to in custody deaths. The state accuses the Sheriff's Department of consistently not taking meaningful action following those deaths, and corrections were not made. According to the Sheriff's Department, nearly 50% of those deaths were the result of natural causes, and around 45% were accidental including suicides and overdoses. The audit recommends changes in several areas for the department and its care for inmates, including medical and mental health follow-up and safety checks. It was pretty harsh. It was hard to read. Under Sheriff Kelly Martinez says the department worked with auditors on those recommendations. So we gave them our ideas about things we could do better, and uh, I think I agree with uh, the recommendations they provided, and we're going to do what we can to, to make those happen. The state says until the department makes meaningful changes to improve mental and medical health care and detention facilities, it will continue to jeopardize the lives of those in custody. So we need more nurses, RNs, LVNs. We need more mental health clinicians. So staffing is a big thing. We need to do some renovations to some of our facilities. That will go a long way to make the facilities safer. The audit comes down the same day Sheriff Bill Gore is retiring. The 74-year-old Gore is stepping down early after 12 years as sheriff. Gore said he made the decision to spend more time with his wife. And the undersheriff says the timing with Gore's retirement and the release of this audit is coincidental. She says she doesn't think Gore would have wanted to leave on a day this audit came out. In Kearney Mesa, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News. All right, Jason, thank you. And state lawmakers who represent San Diego are also responding to this audit tonight. Senate President Pro Tem Tony Atkins and Assemblymember Dr. Akila Weber released a joint statement this afternoon. They called the findings deeply disturbing and said the situation clearly needs to be changed. County Supervisor Chair Nathan Fletcher also weighing in this evening. He said a, mis it said a mistake and going to jail shouldn't cost anyone their life and he expects the new sheriff and state lawmakers to improve conditions.